Hey guys, it's Daryl here. It's Saturday morning still, and I was initially going to do a video, a short video about my state, Connecticut, because I did get a few. I've been looking, I've been trying to read all of your questions and comments and, and, and whatnot, and I got a few questions asking if Connecticut is a blue state. And yes, it is most definitely a blue state, as is all of New England. Uh, we're all blue Democrat. We've all voted for uh, Hillary. Um, New England consists of Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island, six states. Uh, in addition to that, New York, New Jersey, Delaware are all basically part of the, the Democrat. Uh, I think even Virginia voted Democrat back in 2016. So this whole corner of the country uh, has... Uh, New England especially is solidly uh, Democrat. Um, going back to around 1960, 19, uh, I think it was the Kennedy-Nixon uh, presidential vote, uh, and then the Goldwater versus, I um, uh, can't remember who he ran against, but uh, uh, it was a Republican before that, and things swung, uh, the, for the entire region, swung Democrat since then. Um, so yeah, we're all, we're all blue. Um, we're one of the highest per, uh, probably the, one of the, I, th I think, except for Hawaii, the highest per capita income. And you wouldn't, I think that's such a load of crap because, uh, we're taxed to death. Uh, things are extremely expensive here as with Hawaii too. Um, and the average town here, you know, I've, I've been other, I've been to Florida, California, or I've been around the country and, uh, it's not billionaires living here we're a, a lot of that is is what we call the gold coast um the area right above new york where a lot of wealthy people tend to to uh have homes that uh live work or whatever in new york city uh they 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 live in uh westport greenwich uh what we call like i said the gold coast and i think that affects uh this this per capita thing quite a bit um the the average Connecticut person is uh, the average, like the rest of the country, I, I would say. Um, I remember going to California, and uh, this is way back when I was not, when I was twenty years old, and I rented a surfboard, and it was a typical surfer dude. This was in San Diego, in La Jolla, and he was talking with that nasal uh, surfer accent, and he's like, "Connecticut, dude." I, I forgot what he said, but he he. he made it sound like we're all rich and he said uh i think he said the insurance state it, it was pretty entertaining <laughs> but anyway yes we're all blue now th this is what happened here though uh i, I was going to talk about us being progressive a very progressive state which we are uh voting for um same-sex marriage um gay rights and then uh, i was proceeding i started to get into the subject of um gun laws and we're one of the stricter or strictest gun laws, uh, state with gun laws in the country, which brought me to Sandy Hook in Newtown. Now, let me tell you, this is a very small state. I, I know the rest of the country, I'm used to living in a small state. Uh, you can get anywhere across this entire state in three hours, okay? From any point, any border, you can basically cross in three hours. It's a small state. I live in a small town, 7,000 people. From where I'm sitting... It's about not even 20 minutes to, to downtown Sandy Hook, uh, Newtown, where that the massacre occurred. Now, this brings me to this is uh, this is a uh, very emotional, um, angry, irritating subject for a lot of Connecticut people because we ha you have people like Alex Jones. I brought this subject up before um, on YouTube. And at that time, I didn't quite have the same audience that I have now. Uh, I've got a lot of good people and good subscribers, you know, and I, I love you guys. Um, I initially started my YouTube channel in, in, a, in a negative fashion, um, getting attracting the wrong people. And uh, some of the feedback I got from this earlier video was terrible. Um, talking about uh, crisis actors. And um, believe me, you know, I... I remember a teacher i can't remember her name offhand right now but i remember going to a party i mean the town is just a couple of towns over um about eight years ago 
it was a birthday party for a child, not one of the child from Newtown, but the teacher was there. Uh, there's, there's other people I know from town, my relatives, that know people that had families that were affected that were involved in the massacre. And even more than that, since then, uh, we've, had a, we've had a couple suicides from the uh, first responders that had to witness this, this god-awful sight. Um, so it, it affects, it's a small town, small state, and it affects a lot of us in the surrounding towns. And to have somebody say that this isn't real, that this never happened... I mean, that's like saying I'm not real, that I'm a crisis actor, because I actually met one of these teachers, and as have my family, I've met people involved, you know, so these people like Alex Jones are basically saying that me, I'm a crisis actor. Then I came across this book and this case, this case was just resolved, I think, in uh, the summer of this year, of 2009, well, last year, in 2019. It was written by a man called, a retired professor called James Fetzer, uh... It was a ruling against him. He had written a book called Nobody Died at Sandy Hook. Uh, He was sued by Leonard Ponzer, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if he was quite, he was actually, uh, uh, I don't know if he he was a parent of one of the children. But uh, I think the judgment was for maybe somewhere probably in the area of just like uh, $300,000, $400,000. I'm not quite sure. Um. This guy was from Wisconsin, I believe, this, this author, this retired professor, James Fetzer, that wrote, Nobody Died at Sandy Hook. You, I don't know if you people can understand how just shockingly offensive this is. Um, to have something of this magnitude, you know, it affected everybody here. And to have somebody say that it was fake and it never happened. On one hand, it sounds so ridiculous. You, you want to tell this person, you, you are an idiot. You know, you are truly a fool. Uh, and But on the other hand, uh, it's such a seriously uh, horrific subject that it's not funny in any way, shape, or form. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it affected, like I said, initially this video was going to be about Connecticut and being a democratic state. But uh, that, that, that affected a lot of, in a, in a lot of ways, and it probably will continue to affect this state. Uh, just the horrific magnitude of 20 children being gunned down, uh, you know, eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds. And then for the people, the worse or or as bad, the first responders that had to go in there and witness this carnage, I I can't even imagine. And like I said, and it's still affecting this area and this state to this day. And for people like this James Fetzer, uh, Tell you what, you come to this state and anywhere anywhere in this area and you spout off something like this, you will get punched in the face, man. I can guarantee you will you will be escorted out of this state quickly. I'll tell you that. Um, it's no it's no joke, no laughing matter, no hoax here. Believe me. It's you know it's just it was a terrible. Like I said, we, we, everybody knows somebody. Who, who was directly affected or involved in it. So you, you all best believe it was very real. <laughs> all right. That's all I got really got to say for, for now. You guys have a great day.